The Colony is a uh, post-apocalyptic horror film. I remember when this movie came out, I didn't really want to watch it, but since I'm on a whole post-apocalyptic movie streak right now, taking them down if they're available to me on streaming sites like Amazon Prime or Netflix. So The Colony is about a colony. Uh, they live in this sort of bunker uh, in a post-apocalyptic earth that's frozen over. And different colonies, they uh, have a pact where they, they help each other out if they're in trouble. So this other colony is, uh, is not, you know, radio contact for about a week. So they have to go over there and check on them. Meanwhile, there's a bit of a leadership problem because uh, Briggs, played by Lawrence Fishburne, is a, you know, level-headed, calm leader that's compassionate. However, another guy, Mason, he, he's a shoot-first, you know, look-after-our-own-trigger-happy kind of macho man who wants to, you know... You can just tell he's the villain already. <laughs> he doesn't have any subtlety to his character, you know. It, there's no backstory or with a sympathetic, you know, like story where his wife died because or something. But anyways, everyone's scared of the flu or the common cold in this story. So they always quarantine anyone who's sick and try to, you know, kill them before they can drain on the resources. So uh, when Briggs and two of uh, his followers go to the other colony to check on them, there is something that has attacked that colony and wiped them out. Basically, the savage people. And, and that's pretty much the story. The savage people are coming to get them. And that's the movie. So, The Colony, I can say that it's not a very good movie because the story isn't very there. These savage people, you know, there's the one that who's a leader because he, he growls and he's taller and bigger. And they don't even explain how... There's so many plot holes in this movie. First off, when Briggs and his guys get out of the, of the uh, whatever, Colony 5, whatever, they throw a grenade down the chute and they also take away the ladder. Yet somehow these savage people are able to get out of that somehow. It would probably take them several days to, you know, not only get under un the rubble, but find a way to climb out of a, you know, a thing without a ladder. And then they have another showdown on the bridge where Briggs blows it up with a grenade and they still somehow manage to get over, like, a bridge that's blown up. And then they don't explain how they even get into, like, the, the, their colony. And I guess they, they sort of set up that these, these uh, savage people that, that have gone cannibalistic have super strength for no reason. And, um, you know, they can take several shots, gunshots, before they go down. It turns into a very cheesy and bad B-movie. The acting isn't bad at all. You got Lawrence Fishburne, um, Bill Paxton, Kevin Zegers isn't bad. There's a couple of the characters, not too much, but very little characterization. It's a very short movie. It's only like 90 minutes long. There's not enough world building. You could have done this entire movie without the snow. You could have done it with a dry, dusty desert um, scenario. And it would have been the same, you know, instead of uh, cold, they shelter against the sun instead. It would have been the same. So overall, The Colony is a very underdeveloped, uh, lazy sort of horror fest. You know, there's a lot of nameless characters getting killed in the finale, and we don't care. And then there's a lot of, you know, just messy shooting with rock music. And The Colony is just, you know, a really run-of-the-mill B-movie. Not even C-movie. Let's call it a C-movie, you know, just because it has a decent cast. The Colony just doesn't thrill, it's not, doesn't have to, it starts off interesting. I really like the whole, you know, when people are sick, they have a choice to either walk or get a bullet. And Mason doesn't want to give them that choice. He wants a more militaristic style leadership where they just kill anyone who's sick. And they could have, you know, went with that only, but they, they threw in the monsters and they were boring. So The Colony is a very boring pedestrian sci-fi post-apocalyptic horror movie. Not worth checking out. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10.